Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk a bit about PCIe Gen 3 versus Gen 4. So let's get right into it. PCIe or Peripheral Component Interconnect Express is basically that, just that. It connects the CPU to virtually everything else in your system. So this includes the PCIe slot, at the, which is normally located towards the bottom half of your motherboard, to some storage devices is also directly connected through PCIe lanes to the CPU. Some IR ports and internal USB ports are also connected through and as well as the chipset. All right, so how does this PCIe exactly work? Well, it works in terms of lanes. On the CPU spec list, you'll see that there is a PCI Express lanes. So this lanes is where the generation comes in. So when we look at PCIe Gen 3 versus Gen 4, one of these lanes in PCIe Gen 3 can transfer about 985 megabytes per second, while Gen 4, on the other hand, can transfer 1.97 gigabytes per second. So that is double the speed with Gen 4. So this is why Gen 4 is important, because it literally it doubles the speed. So we normally would need two lanes. Now you can have one lane that does the job of two Gen 3 lanes, if I hope that makes sense. All right, now that you understand how PCIe works and, underst and understand how the lanes work, let's quickly talk about do you need PCIe Gen 4 and can you actually get it? So at the time of recording this video, only Ryzen 5000 CPUs and Intel Rocket Lake desktop CPUs support PCIe Gen 4. But with that said, you also need a compatible motherboard which also supports the PCIe 4.0 standard. But let's quickly talk about do you need it and would you actually be able to use it? Uh, unfortunately, I don't personally have any PCIe uh, Gen 4 components, not a motherboard or graphics card, so I couldn't test, test this for myself. But I have looked at some other uh, results and some data from other people and with that they all came to the same conclusion. If you're using like really fast storage that you're using through a PCIe slot or through your PCIe lanes, then it would make sense going Gen 4 because it's just, it is so fast and you can use that. On the other hand, if you're just playing games, there was one game in particular that could make use of Gen 4 and that was actually CSGO. But then you also would need a Gen uh, PCIe Gen 4 GPU to go along with that and that's only one game so there was definitely some specific use cases that you actually can benefit from PCIe Gen 4 but I think for the average user and for most even high-end users PCIe Gen 4 you don't really need it at this time uh, in the future it would become much more relevant and then you would need it but at this time I really don't think you would actually need it. Alright everyone, that's all from me for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments down below. Maybe I missed something or you have some opinions. Maybe I did something wrong. Just leave that down in the comments and I'll find it there and correct anything if necessary. And then also down in the description below there is merch. So go check that out. That is down in, this, in the description. I think it's, it'll probably be the first link or so. So you can go check that out. And yeah, go check out my other videos. I did a video of Sado vs. Saz. That's quite an interesting video as well. May were interested in that as in that and yeah that's all from me for today guys please leave a like subscribe and comment and i'll see you in the next video but until then bye bye